Okay, blessing Mother Earth, blessing, asking for forgiveness. So what I'm trying to say is, whenever there's a war, hmm, it's not two men fighting. I still remember these English people, there are two guys will say, we will take a challenge, and both will have a gun, and they'll walk ten steps, and turn and shoot each other. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? I'm sure you can settle it very nicely, you know. This man can have wife, can have children, can have girlfriend, can have a mother. If you just kill a man, either you get hurt or you kill each other. You know, and, and you just shoot like that. Now, this is Patricia. Patricia I say hi, Patricia, everybody. Uh, she's good to me. I was just telling that this, these guys, the, the, they were two, two horses, and they had a long knife, or long, I don't know what it was thought or what. It's about six minutes, and they run and poke each other. I said, what kind of, what's wrong with these people? Huh? And the gladiator. Uh, how they put all these young, old, old people, either by tigers and all the slaves, especially during the time when they were Christian, the Roman Empire didn't like the Christian, they were killing all of these people. And today they have the biggest, the headquarters of the Roman Catholic, called the Vatican City, the smallest country in the world. And look at, look at the irony. You kill so many people, and now we are the Roman, we are the Roman Catholic, we are the pure Catholic, and you got so many properties, people give you everything, and you at one point in time, all of Europe, listen to that, except for the London. London, I'm not listening to you. I am not. We're going to have our own. They call it Church of England. I'm not going to, you know why he said, I want to marry again or divorce. They said, no, no, you cannot divorce. The Roman, no, do it. Really? I'm going to divorce my wife and I'm going to marry another one. That's it. I don't want a religion. We will follow the uh, Church of England. That's how it started, the Church of England. And then the Protestants, the whole fight in, in, in Ireland was between the pro Protestants and the Christians. You know, so much of war, so much of war, no? So much of war going on just for this, these two guys. So imagine how the war has killed so many people in the name of religion, in the name of ethnic cleansing. I don't like your race, I don't like your people, I don't like this, and kill you for that. So imagine how much of war. So look, who is affected? Mother Earth is affected. Because she's, she's the mother of everybody. The cry of the animal being killed for no reason. The cry of the, uh, of the human beings crying, bombing, and dying, and children screaming. All that go to Mother Earth. So how much you can take? So this energy still stays in those places. They still stay there. The sadness, the blood pouring down. How many wars? The France war, the, the Russian war, the war in Middle East, the war in South Africa. Everywhere this war. Red Indians were fighting and killing each other. Then you got the Aztec, the Mayans and, and the Incas killing each other, slaughtering them. So much of war. The Chinese. I'm not sure what we're going to find tomorrow in the Great Wall of China. Those days were fighting, so many people fighting, you know. The dynasty, the Xing dynasty, the, uh, the Xing and the Ming, all fighting and killing each other. You understand? So at least now they've come back to a peace, the peace. The Indians are fighting, the Sri Lankans are fighting, the Tamil and the Tamils and the Sindhus are fighting. Everywhere, the Japanese also have their own fight. The whole world is fighting, you know. <laughs> now I talk about it. The Maoris are killing each other for ethnic. We are a stronger tribe. Then you go to, you, you go down to, uh, you go down to, how do I say? You go down to um, Hawaii. They were fighting each other. Hawaiians fighting each other. So how long can this all go on? How long can this all go on and on and on? When is it a stop? When is it a stop? When are you going to stop all of these things? Hmm? So, so, so that's why we're trying our best to go to each and every part of this world to change as much and so. Forgiveness to Mother Earth is very, very important. Hmm? Okay, right? Next term, blessing again. Ask your forgiveness. Do it two times to make sure that you understand this forgiveness is such an important thing that everybody needs to ask forgiveness to Mother Earth. Okay? Explaining the soul and the dark energy removal at Mongolia. Hmm? So dark energy supports war. So you must understand some of this war is supported by dark energy. Hmm? So dark energy will support the dog. The dark energy is so strong that they come and influence the people to do a lot of things. It's very, very sad, but it happens. That, that's life. You know, just like you have got friends who are invisible friends instigating you in a way that you start doing the same thing. You can have also friends who are not happy with you. Instead, you fight with your family. And like, for example, you've got a bad mother-in-law. She'll be the, the husband to fight with you, a son. Or vice versa and all. 
So imagine you've got invisible friends coming and telling you the same thing and doing you and supporting you to do a lot of dark things. Now this is what I'm trying to say. So we have to find a way today. I want everyone to join, bring a special wand. And I'm going to also energize your other wands today so there will be special wands for you to use around the future. So let's do this now. Elevate all the souls who are in the inner world coming down and doing all of these things and supporting people. When they die, they go back and become like that. Hmm? So like that. So when the souls pass, pass on, they populate the inner world and continue the work of anger, revenge and fighting and killing and do all kinds of stuff. And somebody they give the protection to fight also. They protect people from, from, from going on. Okay? Right. Making the country and the people negative. The country can be all negative and all be negative also. Okay? Like this guy. Okay? Now I'm going to go down. This, I'm going to show things like that. I'm going to, I'm going to show here like that now. You're going to do this way now. You can say, you can understand. Mm -hmm. You can understand whatever is written down here. Okay. This is Kublai Khan. I don't think he looks look like a grandfather. <laughs> that Kublai Khan? Yeah. He, he looked like grandfather. The artist may have wrong. Maybe those days they never had a picture of people who could draw this properly, or maybe they draw, but they were all got lost. You know. So this is Kublai Khan, born May thirty first, nineteen sixty two, in this place called Kenti Mountain. Died August twenty twenty seven, in Jingping. Okay, that means he only lived for forty seven years, forty forty five for forty five years, forty five years. That, that's all he lived, forty five years. So imagine how life must have been. They must have started very young. And I think, and they were eating a lot of this meat and end up with a lot of heart attack and heart problems like what's happening today, no? The heart's getting clogged and people are dying. The biggest cause of that in Mongolia is about heart failure because they get clogged. What do you call that? Is ischemia. Ischemia. It's much easier to say block the heart of blood. <laughs> so ischemia, heart failure. That means all these things, no? So eating too much of fat of all the sheep and all. They also eat horse. So a lot of fat, they don't clean the fat, you know. So this is what happened to many people who are around here. Mm? So many people die because early they eat meat. They are nomads. They nomad. They just grill it and eat, you know. And I'm sure they, they probably don't have salt also, no. The sea is very, very far away. I don't know how they get salt those days, okay. So now, this is how it is. Huh? That is, that, that is uh, uh, Patricia standing in front there. Mm -hmm. Standing in front there. Eh? Look, <laughs> that's how it looks like. You know, you don't expect him to go and fight. He's holding something in the hand. I don't know what is it, okay? Right, now, Genghis Khan was impossible to know for sure how many people perished during the Mongol conquest. Many historians put the number as somewhat of 40 million people. By the time when I went down there and sat down there, when I checked, there were 46 or 47 million people, souls who were still around. Some would have gone, some would have been there. You know? Hitler had 6 million, so this guy is a master of killing machine. Hitler was bad, but this guy is even bad. You know, you don't know what actually happened. They traveled around. There's no really count, okay? When we check, it was 60, 47 million or something like that. Go and check the one I talk about, okay? Now, that defeated Genghis Khan. But nothing defeated, but only death. Death defeated his enemy from the great beyond. The siege continued, and as he did, the great Khan died. He told his son to keep the death a secret, lest the enemy be embodied by his passing. They did, and the city fell... Uh, into their hands a month later, still unaware of his campaign. So they were not aware. So this a penny done. He was sick. He was going to die. But he told the guy, don't tell him. He goes, go and fight, fight, fight. I said, I am coming. So the word, the Genghis Khan word is ever so strong. People lost to him. Hmm? Very, very sad. Okay. Look, this is, this is the place there. There's a monument built of stainless steel right on top of his monument. So lots of, lots of things. They are upstairs and downstairs. This is about three stories, three stories high. And downstairs, so they did all of these things to show. And I don't know why he's still holding the knife and looking at one side. He's looking, he still want to go and fight. Hmm? Look at the way. See, that, that's the knife he's holding now. He's taking the knife out, and he's the one hand is up there like that. You know, see. So I still want to fight. I'm not going to let go. So when you have this kind of thing, this kind of energy, how energy will be around? Now, this all his descendants. He's there, and his seven sons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sons. So, so this is how, you know, eight sons, then they go down, his children, his children, grandchildren go around, and that's what they do. They go around fighting, 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 and they just want land. They just want land, land, land. Hmm? Right, now look at this whole map. The one that colored brown is where they went. You know, and they, they're also showing the pictures that are coming down. This may not be the, the Mughal, but the Chinese who under, during the Kublai Khan reign, they took boats and they came to a lot of places. That's why the Chinese at that time come to Malaysia called the Babas and Indonesia they also got names. So the Chinese also came to this kind of area. 
uh, you know, the Hang Lipo, Hang Jabat, or the Hang Dynasty, and all, no, so they, they came. So it may not be the Mughals, but the Chinese who came down there. So now the Chinese has made a great wall. Now look at how they fight. Hmm? So when somebody comes to you like this, for with a big horse with all kind of stuff, you get scared. You, you cannot fight because you're, you don't have trained horses and things that like you're a peaceful farmer and doing some faithful thing, and you don't fight. You know, they couldn't go to India because of the, because of the Himalayan, Himalayan range was protecting them. And if they had gone, the Indians used elephant to fight. <laughs> Horse would have been no match, you know. That's what happened. When Alexandra came to India, he lost because they were elephants. They were fighting against the elephants. They had elephants in their army, you know. So that's bad, you know. So imagine how, how powerful these things, these guys were. Hmm? Right, next. Watch this. It's a video. You see. Take everything, go. Don't kill us. Before even coming there, take this what we have. And look at these guys. The, the, how, how they look, how barbaric they look. When somebody comes to your house with all dressed like that, what do you do? You surrender. You can't fight them. They're killing machines. Hmm? So how much harm would have happened? This is just a painting. Uh, what could have happened? Imagine what actually happened. Hmm? Giving all the gold coins, take everything, go, go, don't, don't kill us, don't destroy us, no, give us life. Hmm? So, so another video of a young lady standing in front of a dead man. After all the visit to all the places we have been in Mexico, I mean, in Olambato, the monument, finally I saw one picture that shows. That makes sense. There's a lady here. And holding the heart, and down there is a dead man. Dead man can be the husband, boyfriend, father, brother. It's the only picture I've seen right now that shows, depicts what actually happens after the big war, winning and fighting and all kind of stuff. The sorrow, the pain, everybody goes through, especially women who have lost their husband, father, brother, son. It's very sad. It's a true story. True, what actually happened? Hmm? What actually happens? Finally, this is something real. Something happened. Something real. Not something killing and fighting all the names real. of people. Of what goes on in the real world? How people go through after a war? Going to war is very easy, but who comes back? Who doesn't come back? Who decides? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. So women, how much the curse of woman will be, how much you'll be crying, the man is lost, could be a son, could be a brother, could be a husband, could be a boyfriend, all these things, you know. So it's very, very sad, life is gone. So imagine how much a curse will go from women. Women curse is the most, most sad curse. So the whole country could be cursed. Mm -hmm. Whole country, the whole, whole race could have been cursed, you know. Now look at this. Now this is the Great Wall of China. This is the Great Wall of China. Starting from here, goes all the way down until to the river, to the to the ocean, stopping the moguls from coming inside. It's not an easy stuff to do. Starts from here, twenty thousand kilometers of wall to keep the the moguls from coming into China. So imagine how they must have built it for how many years it took to build. It's not going to be built in two months or three months. I'm not sure how many, how many, how many years it do, maybe 100 years or 200 years, because these guys were coming, coming, coming. How to stop them? They come and take all the wealth and go away. Come and take all the wealth, They're like robbers, you know. They come and take all the wealth and go away. Maybe the women also don't go away. Hmm? So it's very sad. So now this is a half of it, this is one half of it, and this is the other half, going right to the ocean. Hmm? And look at, the, look, at the, look at the Great Wall of China. Can you imagine? Right on top of the... Mountain, going on top of the mountain, going from here, going from here, going from here, going, 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 see, still going until here. Imagine how to make this thing, where to make the rock. It's not a small thing. Mm -hmm. See how high the mountain, look how. And here is where the army will fight against uh, the, the whoever is coming across. And they have a station there. You know, like giving smoke signal or what, and people are coming, get ready. Because going up the mountain is not, not easy for the army to come to fight. They have to go up the mountain, not a straight road, you know. So this is all the ports where they have put arrows to fight small, small holes. So imagine. And we will be there on Tuesday, on Wednesday. On Tuesday we will be there. We are going to the Forbidden City 
and we're going to go to the Great Wall of China, and it's very interesting to know what are the things that we're going to find there. Hmm? So imagine how they are gone. Look at this one. Look at this. Starting from here, going all the way here, all the way here, all the way here, boom, 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 and it's still going on. From one corner of the country to the other corner, just to keep the Mongolians away. So they, they so it's going up the mountain is tough. Crossing this across is very tough. So if you to break this, it's not easy. If it's a flat land, they probably put some bomb and uh, take some wood and break or something like that. So the Chinese are very smart. But imagine how many people died building this place in, in winter. China can get very, very cold in the northern part of China. So how difficult must it have been? How many slaves have come from other parts of China to build this? Millions, I think. I can now I can just say, I can say 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, wow, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 million souls are waiting now. Seriously, 90 million souls are waiting. The one who died in the bridge, I mean, in the making the war, and also from the war that happened among China itself, the war among China itself, okay? Good. Let's go. Look at this, my friend. Mm? So, so, look, mm? Right. So look, there have been taken many lives of people, including innocent women and children. Mm? Now look, what what is the bloodiest battle in history? Well, Stalingrad, battle is bloodiest, huh? From 1942-43, 4.1 million people died. Mm? Right. Estimated. Next battle of uh, Changi, Changdi, 1943, 100,000. Battle of West Hubei. 1943, 115. It's not much, okay? Now come to the other one. Look at this. Which which war was the worst? Worst with an armed conflict. Okay? World War II. The estimated lowest is 35 million. Highest estimate, 118 million. We cannot estimate because those days we know who died. We do not know. Yeah. In the chef, World War II. Mongol invasion and conquest. 30 million to 57 million. The Mughal conquest. Can you imagine? Uh, how many people died? Where were they? Now, the worst is a Taiping Rebellion. 20 million to 30 million people fighting for more than 16 years. European colonies of the Americas, 5.8.4 to 80 million. They're not too sure how many people died. Where the Spaniards went to South America to kill the Incas, the Mayas, and, and also the Aztec and killing everybody and taking over the power, bringing new people into the whole land. So they say this is what happened and it's going on for so many years, not just one, two years, going on so many years. Okay. Now what is the top 10 war in history? List of major, 10 major wars in battle of the world history that's left in indelible mark on the world and the civil war of America, the Chinese civil war, the Taiping rebellion, the war of the Kalinga, India, the second Sino-Japanese war, the World War One, the World War Two, and the Third Thirty Years War, the Dungan Revolt, and the Russian March 2020-24. Hmm? So imagine, even recently 2024, the Dungan Revolt and the Russian March, hmm? or is it the March? Okay, Nazi German as part of the deliberate program of extermination systematically killed over 11 million people, including 6 million Jews. In addition to Nazi concentration camps, the Soviet gulags, labor camps, lead to the death of 3.6 million civilians. Can you imagine, my friend, why some people are so bad? This is all dark energy, dark energy coming from the inner world. They're still there. So today I want all of us to find a way. Let's do something and clean up the inner world energy. Eh? Right. Are you guys ready to do that? Hmm? Are you guys ready to follow me today? to the inner world, to heal and negative energy that's there. Hmm? If you don't want to follow me, please put, please don't join us. Okay? Shut the internet and stay home. <laughs> it's like COVID time for you guys. Okay? Now tell me, I want to know how many of you are willing to follow. Anu Radha, yes sir, yes sir. All ready, huh? Dear, yes sir. <laughs> All ready, huh? Seriously, if you guys are not ready, please don't join us. Leave it away because you want to touch some very high level. Very high level dark energy. Very, very high level. So many souls are out there supporting the war. Mm? Right, see. The longest war in history is believed to be the Reconquista, Spanish and uh, Reconquista, which is was 781 years. Wow. Yes. 
Not only he, not only South America, but everybody, everywhere else. Everywhere else they went. Everywhere else, even in even in Europe, everywhere else. Okay, right. That's seven eighty one years. Now, typing rebellion. You know, typing rebellion. You know the word typing. You know, it's, we have a city called Typing in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that. It's not that typing. <laughs> it says also known as the Typing Civil War or the Typing Revolution. What a civil war in China between the Manchurian Xing Dynasty and the Hakka. Hakka people. Hakka people. Oh, imagine just just. Ethnic people, that's all. That is how they were fighting. Ethnic people, you know. And Taipei Rebellion was a revolt against the Xing dynasty in China, fought with rebellious conviction of regional economic, religious conviction and regional economic condition. It lasted for 100, 150 to 14 years of this war. 14 years. Hmm? Right. So, so now, how many people were died as a result of Islam? But there is an there is an estimate that range from 270 to 680 million people. Academic estimate around 990 million to 1.2 billion people have been died on the result of Islam and continuous war of the religious expansion since seventh century to the current day across the continent. Hmm? So all people saying we are not sure, but many people have died. You know what is the worst, most death in history? Top ranking history of Vietnam is influenza pandemic. <laughs> The Spanish flu, 1918 to 1919, 20, 24 million people dead. The Black Death, plague, 13, 14, 50, 20, 25 million people. AIDS pandemic, through 2000, 21.8 million dead. Wow. Till today. Can you imagine? AIDS pandemic. World War II. Mm -hmm. World War II. Okay. 15.9 million dead. And the World War I, 9.2 million. Now look at me. But how where is this world going to go? Hmm? With all the death and all attachment, how are they going to go? That's why when I go somewhere, I must surprise. Why are there so many souls around? Why are there still so many souls around? Why? I used to ask myself. I said 10, 20 million. Wow. I might do the right thing. I, I have doubts myself, my friend. But that's the reality. I just check and I get answer. I accept it. I don't go and so, no, cannot be, no. I don't do that. Accept it and move on. Hmm? 